It's your girl, honey. I'm on my hip hop ish, and I'll speak to you about a month. You should tune in because honey will be on the pair, and uh, I have beauty and brains. You all see the brains, but you will definitely see the beauty. I'm Miss Leisha, aka Honey, of the Real Models of Atlanta. I was born in Savannah, Georgia, raised in the heart of Atlanta. I love modeling, I love taking pictures, I love getting beautified. I absolutely love shopping. I was a cheerleader for, um, I was a cheerleader since I was six years old. I was actually on a firm box when I was about 10, called Beautiful Beginnings. I did a couple of videos, I was one of the shop boys video, um, Party Like a Rockstar, and Underground videos. And I just decided that that's what I love doing, I love taking pictures, I love getting beautified. It don't take much, I'm, like you said, I'm already a gorgeous woman. So, um, you know, daily things for me, um, skin is everything. So, um, just make sure your skin stays nice. That way you won't have to put too much makeup on, but of course, makeup, lashes, mascara, clothes, fashion. I absolutely love fashion and style. Style is everything. Style tells your personality. So, that's basically it. Um, I went to school with the Franchise Boys and um, I knew of the um, Shop Boys. And you know, underground rappers, a lot of them was older than me, so um, I really didn't go to school with too many of them. Real Models of the Land. Tell us about that. It's a challenge. I mean, it's a lot of females. I really don't like females like that. So, um, you know, I'm a girl. And I'm, I'm a particular girl. So, you know, a lot of females don't get along with each other. And, um, you know, it's just a challenge. It's really like everybody's trying to become the model, the face for Atlanta. So that's the whole challenge. Like, everybody want to be that person. Everybody want to be a star. So, you know, it's a lot of complications. It's a lot of challenges going with that. Plus, they're not really embracing us in that in the networks and stuff. So like we're really fighting to to make something out of nothing. Why is that? Why why do women do that? Why do women do what? Like like gotta yeah, I feel like I gotta fight. It can only be one. I mean is it is it is it a thing like it, it can only be one face of the models in the Absolutely. Or? Okay. All right. Yeah, you know, it's only one that's just like American next top model. Yeah. Except for the ghetto version. You know? Yeah, so exactly. it's like we're, it's the, the eye candy model for Atlanta. So it's like, when people think of Atlanta, they're gonna think of this particular person. Like, okay, I want a model from Atlanta because I want her to be like honey. Right. So when they come to Atlanta looking for a model, they're gonna look for somebody who's short, light skin, curves, okay. beautiful, you feel okay. me? Right. So like, it's just like that. I'm with that, I'm with that. Um, what else do you do besides model? What's your point? Is, is that your full time profession? No. What else do you do? I'm orthodontic assistant. I went to school um, for dental assistance. I put on braces for a living, actually. So that's my career. This is just my dream. But you're gonna make your, your dream your career. Definitely. It's definitely gonna be my career because once I get on TV, I'm gonna push it. Exactly. You know, once yeah. the door open, that's when you run. Exactly. You gotta, you gotta seize all opportunities. Exactly. So, um, would you, would you ever do? So, is, is real um, models of the line? It's like, is it, is it reality based? It's reality based. Okay. Yep. Tell us about that. I mean, I can't really say, I can't speak too much on it, but, um, you know, photo shoots, a lot of parties we've been to, um, private parties, you know, a lot of um, artists want us to be in their movies, their videos, and stuff like that. So, basically, that's what we've been doing lately, like being in different videos and um, going to people album release parties and a lot, a lot of photo shoots. Okay, okay. Um, do you consider yourself to be Top runners, well, I consider myself face. number one. Number one? <laughs> As you should. <laughs> exactly. Is, is there any competition in there? Um, I don't see no competition. Everybody's their own person. Everybody have a different mind frame. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, um, you know, it's mind over matter. So some people want it for a particular reason. When you got your mind straight forward and you already know, like you can do it, just do it. I don't see no competition. Okay. All right, so. Take us through this Saturday. Get up, or Atlantic Mall, like what, what is what is it? Get up, 
Okay, you're gonna brush your teeth, wash your face, do your makeup, then you're gonna eat. Then you leave out, you go probably to, I don't really go to Linux, like that, I go to Phil's. So you go to Phil's, you go on Jeffrey's, of course you go on Gucci, you gotta see what's new out. And that's your, it really just relaxes you, that's what shopping do for me, it relaxes me. So of course you're gonna meet somebody at the mall so they can sponsor it. And you're gonna go to Phil's, you're gonna go in Jeffrey's or Versace and find you something nice, tell them you absolutely love it and you can't leave without it. And there you go. You get it. There you get it. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, cool, cool. Um, I'm sure you get you get approached by men all the time. Um, what's some of the craziest things uh men has said that you like to change? Actually, the craziest thing that ever happened to me was actually finishing up the trailer of the um of the rap reality show. So it's this guy he came to the party. He came to the party like he's an older guy. So for some reason he was pushing up on me. I guess he think he had money, so he told me he was a millionaire. So you pushing up on me? Okay, I understand you got money and everything, but chill. So I take two drinks. And I'm through with two drinks. So I'm drunk. So he keeps whispering my ear like, "You ready to go?" I'm like, I don't know where I'm going, I ain't going nowhere. Like, I'm drunk, I'm in the club, I'm let me have fun. So it's time for me to leave, I'm leaving now. He's like, I'm just gonna walk you to your car. He walked me to my car, I wound up having a boot on my car. So I'm like, man, how I get a boot on my car and I paid the park. But I'm still drunk, so I'm like, hold on, let me shake this off. So I'm like, bam, my face, I'm like, I get a ticket, I'm like, so the man walk up. So the guy who was pushing up on me, he was like, um, my man, how much is it going to get the boot off her car? So he said it's going to be $75. On his wallet, he was like, Nope, I ain't got $75. So, you might as well just come to the loft with me, and I guarantee you in the morning the food will be off your car. So, I said, Let me tell you one thing I have $75. I had $500 in my purse that night. I pulled money. I said, I'm not a stupid ass model. You tripping? I said, You think I'm going to go home with you for $75? So, he looked at the man, and he said, My man, I'm going to take the food off her car. I didn't pay the man, he didn't pay the man. So, oh, so that's what they tell me this dude, he put the boot on the car, basically. I'm thinking I'm lost, because I'm like, hold up, I ain't pay him. You ain't pay him. What the fuck going on? That's crazy. So, that, that's, so, like, that's like the craziest story. thing ever happened to me. I was like, is you serious? I caught the CEO. And I'm like, oh, why didn't you make sure I got home good? You know, I was drunk. He asked me what happened, so I told him the same story. He tell me, oh, you finna be famous. You finna get a lot of that. <laughs> is you fucking serious? <laughs> it's a lot of drama. My my whole my drama is what what irritates me the most. It always be the ugly girl who trying to be the, the top girl, you know? Like, and they she be smelling. So this thing is like, oh she be what? Smelling. What? So like I'm the type of person like I'm real particular. You see what I'm saying? So. Somebody had already told me that like she, the girl was on her cycle and she smelled it bad. So I get ready to sit down, I'm like, I don't want her to sit by me. So like that really like blow me. So I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna sit right here. So I sit right here. So I guess somebody told her that like, I think she's gonna be a star, which is me. So I guess she's trying to keep up with me. I'm sitting down, everybody get up, they dance, and I'm still sitting down, she slides by me. So I'm like, why the fuck would she do that? You stank as hell and you ugly, like why are you sitting by me? So she looked at me, she's like, I don't really like these songs, that's why I'm sitting down. So I'm like, okay. So I get up. So I'm like, I like the song. Then so I get up, she get up. I walk off, she everything I do, she's falling. I'm like, bitch, you fucking ugly as hell. There's no competition. Like, seriously. She must, she must think, she must have uh, something up there that helps her out to make her think she's that. Yeah, her boyfriend, he be there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I really like to listen to slow music so it because I'm not like a sexual person. So a lot of the uh, photo shoots you have to be seductive. And I'm not a seductive person. So I like to listen to slow music because it makes me wind down and get in my zone, think about stuff. Yup. Gotcha. And you know, of course, a little shot of something that'll take you over the edge. Okay. The drinks I'm done, but that's why I don't really drink. That's why I, okay. if you want to take me out, we're going to go somewhere where they're selling lobster and steak. Cause I love that. So we're gonna get lots of steak and I might get a little glass of wine. So wine. Or I might get a coke. Cause I might not even drink at all. Gotcha. I really wanna eat. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I used to have 
Instagram, but I don't have it anymore. Somebody just hacked my page, so. Just follow Real Models of Atlanta. <laughs> a photographer that actually he was working with us, but he wasn't working with us. So like he would follow me on Instagram, so he used to comment upon all my pictures, like, um, um, uh, um, Barbie never had that much ass, I look, and all this other shit. So I'm like, all right, cool, like, who are you? So one day we had a photo shoot, and we like, we got a new photographer. So you know, I never looked on his face, so the new photographer came, he was like, um, hey, follow me back on Instagram. So I'm like, oh, you following me? So I go to my Instagram, and I'm like, what's your, um, what's your name? So he sent me his name, and he tell me, like, Don, I'm like, damn, it's you, like, you can't follow me? <laughs> like, you follow me in real life. <laughs> like, for real. And doing a photo shoot, like, he actually, like, pushed up on me. I'm like, bro, you might be drunk or something, like, you actually, like, that's like a lifetime story. First of all, you on Instagram, then they figure out what you doing, and now you my photographer? Man, this is the casualties of y'all being Like, that is like, crazy. <laughs> I'm like, so, like, what the fuck? Right, cool. But, like, that's the craziest thing. It's your girl, honey. I'm on my hip hop fish, and I'm sweet too for the month. You should tune in because honey will be on the pair. And uh, I have beauty and brains. If you want to see the brains, but you will definitely see the beauty.